Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 1 of Let's Platinum God of War. Yes, we are finally, finally doing one of the greatest games to come out in recent history, God of War 2018. Uh, before we get started, let's quickly jump into settings, going to change a few things. Uh, we are going to make quick turn option 2. Uh, I'm going to hold L and press back to spin around, I like to do that. Uh, instead, HUD is fine, camera, camera, we're going to invert the vertical control because that's how I like it. Cool. Uh, audio, I'm going to drop sound effects to 60 and hope that that doesn't like completely drown me out when we're doing battle. Uh, even if it does, I'll fix it in post. I, I haven't been, been able to figure out uh, like a, a proper um, audio level for it. It's just I don't know, it's really annoying. Um, all right, we'll leave everything as is. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I'm gonna take off film grain or motion blur, I'll leave those on. Um, okay, and without further ado, let's get started. Uh, oh yes, <laughs> I always forget. So I am going to pick Gimme God of War. It's the hardest difficulty the game has to offer. You don't have to do this for the platinum um, and I recommend not doing it if you're you know, not confident. Just Pick any of the others, it should be fine. Give me a challenge, should be, you know, pretty tough, but also um, very doable. Give me God of War is, uh, it, it's pretty hard, but um, yeah, e even still, it's it's not too bad. Give me God of War is for those who want the game as difficult as possible, requiring godlike reflexes and strategy. Note, this difficulty cannot be changed mid game, so a new game must be started to change the difficulty. So, if you pick any of the others, you can change between those, but you can't change for this one. Again, I reiterate, it is not required for the Platinum. It is just for the sake of me enjoying the game even more than I already do. All right, let's do it. Yep. Press R1 to swing the Leviathan Axe. And again. And again. And again! One more time. Some. Get in the boat, boy. Okay, let's just move towards the boat. Still want me to tie it to the boat? Okay, I'm gonna press circle. Boy. 
That is enough. Okay, now I use the left arm stick to steer the boat. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. Our main character Kratos here is played by a gentleman known as Christopher Judge. Anyone who is fans of Stargate SG-1 will know Christopher Judge as Tilk. He was a really cool character in that show. And that is Kratos' son, Atreus, played by Sonny Selich, I think it was. Apologize if I said that wrong. Very well done by both. We'll see those other names eventually. Um, I'll talk about who Kratos is and like all the story based stuff as we go and I'll try and you know talk about a bit of the previous games and all that kind of stuff so I don't like front load everything here at the beginning because um, there's yeah there's a lot to this game so we'll get to it when we get to it. Uh, right now we're collecting a tree trunk and taking it home for reasons we will discover momentarily. This game is so damn pretty. <laughs> Here we go. That was the last. <laughs> Directed by Cory Barlog. I really like that guy. see my mother all there do I see my father all there do they call to me all there do they call to me Do they call to me? Oh, there do they call to me? Oh, there do they call to me? She's ready.
I'm sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. She taught you to hunt. What she knew. Show me. Now? Now. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh... This way. Father? Why are we doing this now? I need to know you can survive the journey. Then we leave for the mountain? Depends on you. Hunt. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here and collect this. This is a lost toy. There are four in total and we're going to be able to find all of them in this sort of starting tutorial area. Uh, if we hold up, we can see it here in the journal. There's a lot of stuff to this um, main menu. We'll look at it, each of the things as they become pertinent and I'll try and talk about a little bit of each as we go. Uh, so, lost and found. We found this little toy near the house. I used to have one like it. I think it may be part of a set. If we can find more, they may they may be worth something. So, in case it's not immediately obvious, Kratos is not the kind of person who would have a toy when, uh, you know, who would know that he had a toy like it. <laughs> uh, the journal is written from the perspective of Atreus, which is actually really cool. I really like that idea. In fact, the whole um, interface of this game is amazing. It's really, really, really good. Um, I was going to say something and I've forgotten, so we'll just continue. Alright, so let's listen to Atreus. What was I going to say? It was actually kind of important, I what feel What did like. you find? Tracks. Not deer, though. I'll keep looking. Uh, I think it was just about the what was happening there. So we're going to collect this pouch here. It has what's known as hack silver in it. 263 there. Um, and uh, that's kind of the currency of this game. So let's press circle here. Boy, you miss these. Huh, close, but also not deer. See, tips are too wide. Mountains up? Your mother taught you well. Yeah. All right, I think I remembered what I was gonna say. It was basically about the story. So that little line there kind of reveals sort of pretty much guaranteed what's going on. And that is that um, the person that we just cremated was uh, Atreus's mother and Kratos's wife. Uh, we'll find out her name in a few episodes time. Um, and yeah, so that sucks. And now like he's lost his mother. Here's another toy, by the way. He's lost his mother, Kratos has lost his wife, and now they're trying to ahead. figure out what to do next. So that's the next toy. Um, it doesn't say anything about about it, just puts the picture there, which is actually really cool. I like that they animated, they went through the trouble of animating that. It's nice. More tracks? Yeah, but they're too round. Could be a wild boar. Good. Alright, so Kratos is... Now what? Kratos is happy that Atreus knows that, and he's happy that his wife taught him, you know, decently well. So here, just press circle. Kratos will jump. This way, boy. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Good tracks. jump. They're fresh. This way. Oh, and, and I thought the line about um in the direction of deer was really cool as well. Uh, okay, if we hold uh, thumbstick forward and press circle, we can vault over objects. Slow down, boy. Sorry. 
You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. Okay. Here we can collect some hack silver. We can find another what I like to call regular chests. Find some more hack silver. And there should be some more here. And that's all there is in this area. There's a chain over there that we're gonna uh, make our way to eventually. But now we gotta go this way. You broke our bridge. How are we gonna get across? Step aside. Okay, press the right on the digital pad to equip our Leviathan axe, and we can press L2 to aim it. We have a nice little reticle there. Press R1. Wow. Go. Oh. And now if you here. if you press triangle, that is so cool. That never gets old. <laughs> and press circle to jump. There it is. Hold. What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Find it. Find it. That deer is so beautiful as well, which is crazy. All right, now we have no choice but to head into this area right here. No, you are not ready. Stay back. All right, this is our first enemy, a Draugr. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trip him over. I'm gonna do it again, and again. I'm gonna do this a few times. And you'll notice there, as I did it, I got a uh, what's known as a labor in this game, which is kind of like a. Um, Special combat order joke. All right, now that he's level, oh, okay. For some reason, now that he's level two, I cannot uh, do it unless it's from a from backwards. Okay. Well, anyway. Okay, I also got quick reflexes there, which is to parry. Okay, that's not good. Draugr's demise. Kill a certain amount of Draugr. You'll notice, or you'll quickly realize why I'm doing this. Or it'll quickly become apparent. When they shine like that, it means they're leveling up, which is kind of bad. And pressing L1 allows me to do a perfect parry. If you're having trouble, you can also launch them into the air. Uh, this is actually a really good way to do it. Okay. Come on, get up. Let's freeze him. Punch, 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 punch. I'll just show, show off what I mean. So if I go to goals now and have a look at my labors, I've tripped 20 enemies already and I've parried 6 attacks. The reason I want to do this is because it'll give us a lot of experience early on. And experience is really useful in this game because it enables us to learn uh, more attacks. Um, and Kratos becomes... Okay, so I just did... Notice I got 250 experience, that was because I've tripped 25 enemies. I need to trip up to um, 100 to ma max that out. 100 is a lot, but if I uh, try and do a lot of this, this immediately, um, it becomes... Like, I don't have to do it later. Ooh, okay. That's bad. I'm gonna try and survive here. Alright, they both haven't... or neither of them have leveled, so I'm just gonna try and keep this tripping up. I'm gonna get there twice as quick by doing this. Here we go. Alright, I think there's only one more to fight, hopefully. I can see him in the background. Nope, two. Problem is I'm one hit away from death. So now I'm gonna just actually try and go for the kills. Nice. If I can get the parries, that's even better. Oh, are you kidding me? 
<laughs> I timed my block wrong. Ah, uh, that's really annoying. The reason that's really annoying is because I think I just lost out on all that experience. <laughs> Everything that I did. Uh, let me have a look. Yep, I screwed up there. Wow. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I will probably do a lot of that off screen. Um, because uh, that was pretty much perfect and all I had to do was block that one last attack and I would have been fine. Um, and I'll try and get up to, you know, what I was up to there and you'll see, you'll see like the end of it next time. So don't worry about it too much. Um, I think it's worth doing. Um, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Um, and if you're playing easier difficulties, don't worry about it at all really. But uh, it's just how I want to do it. So I'll do most of that battle off screen until I'm down to like one or two enemies and then I'll start the next episode and we'll continue from there. But for now, I want to thank you all for watching episode one of Let's Platinum God of War 2018. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.